Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, we got a 14 GLI that came in with a burnt up balance shaft. It's completely seized. Um, I'm gonna go over the process with you guys on how one to get the balance shafts out of the block inside the car. Two, we're gonna go over does this thing have bent valves? How can you check? And we'll go from there. All right, to start, we had the uh, timing chains pulled off so we can check the balance shafts. The exhaust side spins perfectly fine. And the intake side is slam locked up. All right, to check to see if this thing bent the valves and the shaft locked up, we pulled the cam bridge. Both the intake and exhaust cam are out. And then cylinder one and four are at bottom dead center. All right, you want to use your leak down tester. In this case, it's not really a leak down tester. I want to be able to dump 120 into the cylinder to see the valves are closed. I'm starting off with cylinder two. I've already did cylinder one and four. They both are holding the correct PSI, which tells me those valves are, in fact, not bent. And then you want to open it slowly. You're just trying to see if it's going to hold 120. And it is. So that tells me cylinder two does not have bent valves. We'll go on to cylinder three real quick. All right, it is holding 120. If it had bent valves, this would leak down. Or you would, one, well, not hear it leak down. It would be blowing right off the intake or the exhaust, depending on which valves are uh, bent. But this engine is good to go. We were worried about having to put valves in it, so we wanted to check before we got too far into the balance shafts. So now we're gonna show you how to get the balance shafts out of the block inside the car. To get the front balance shaft out, you have to pull the intake. So you have to get this little cover way down here off. There's a 12 millimeter bolt holding the balance shaft on, which is also driving the water pump belt. To do that, you have to take the intake pipe out, intake manifold, all the harnesses, fuel filter, I mean oil filter, and then a couple other things. We'll go through it together. After you get the intake off, you go ahead and pull the water pump. You don't have to. Um, we are putting one new one on here, so it didn't matter for us to pull it or not. There is a gear that goes right here on the back of the balance shaft that drives to the timing belt for the water pump. This bolt is left hand thread. You are going to want a special wrench to get it off. An offset 12 it makes it a lot easier. And you're also going to want either a second hand to hold the crank or the crank holding tool. All right, to pull the balance shafts, you have a T30 that goes here, a T30 that goes in this hole, and then it's the M8 triple square. Okay. 
this intermediate gear does slide right off. And we'll show you how to time it here in a minute. And this stubby can come off if you have to take it off to put a pry bar to pop this one off. In some cases on this rear balance shaft, they'll pop right out. Other cases you have to put the tool on it. And it looks like we're gonna have to use the tool. So we'll pull out the special tool and I'll show you what that is. Alright, this is a special tool for the uh, rear balance shaft. Part number T10394-1. It attaches to a slide hammer. It slides behind the teeth of the gear. And you slide that on. And then you attach a regular slide hammer to it. And it pops right up. All right, and we're going to have to pry against the block and the bolt to push this one out. Again, you want to have it just below the frame rail. All right, once you pop it, again, you want to be below the frame rail. And it'll come right out. This was the seized balance shaft, and you can already see there's sections of plastic from the screens melting. Good indication of a frozen balance shaft. So the balance shafts, you do have to put the uh, new seals in. Start off at the end right. The seals do have a couple windows in there. I try to line them up with the slot for oil flow. And when you push them in, you want to be sure you push them all the way down so they're below the surface. All right, so getting it back in, you kind of have to be on top of the motor once you get it halfway through the block because you're going to have to feel for the back of the balance shaft so you can get it through the center of the uh, the balance shaft seal at the back. Again, be sure that it's just below the frame rail.
front ones in. That takes the T30. The rear one you're gonna fight a little bit. You have the back, which has this own bearing in the back that you have to line it up with. By the way, guys, clean out your fender liners. <laughs> I just had half the damn Amazon just fall into my hoodie. All right, pause it for a minute. Good. No, like, bring the camera in. So on the intermediate shaft gear, there's two dots. Those two dots need to line up with the yellow mark on the actual balance shaft itself. All right, guys, so on the uh, crank, it is a spur gear. The top of the pulley has a flat spot on it, and so does the top of the crank. You can only put it on one way, and you'll feel it lock in place. I always put the bolt back in it just to secure it while I'm dealing with the chains. All right. All right, so the timing chain has three gold teeth on it. All three gold teeth have the same amount of lengths in between them. Your balance shaft timing mark on the crank is to be the arrow pointing outwards. There's a yellow line on this one, and there's a dot on this one. And if I recall, this one gets tightened down to 80 Newton meters. I will tag it and let you know what it's supposed to be. All right. 
All right, so I'll put that together. The torque for the guide rail bolts are 20 newton meters or 15 foot pounds. And then the big tensioner bolt is tightened to 65 newton meters, 48 foot pounds. All right, so that's it for that. We got the balance shafts out, new ones in, all timed up. If you got any questions, shoot us a couple comments. We'll get to them as soon as we can. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you got any questions or suggestions on motors that you want us to rebuild, leave them in the messages. Have a great night, guys.